What's going on, Screaming Eagles? Jet Eagle 101 here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In our last video, we were fixing to rob a train that has an army payroll and stuff. After, in the middle of the train ride, we got, well, we lost John in the process. Dutch and Micah said that he got killed. And Abigail got captured, and we went to go save Abigail with Sadie. And Agent Milton revealed that Micah Bell was the one who told them about the gang and everything. So... After, so now we're heading back. So before we do that, I just want to remind you guys: if you like the game so far, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles and more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jade Eagle 101. All right, so yeah, we left off in the middle. So Arthur, there's no time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! <laughs> Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Go on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat. Before I get much sicker. No, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. Best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Coming to that point. Get your signature hat, Arthur. And let's ride. Yeah. The many miles we walk. The many things we learn. The building of a shrine. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Hmm. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. Sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your head. May the cards lay out a straight. Thank you. 
fella. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. Straight ahead. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? Left me. Left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. <sighs> John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you. You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you <laughs> is with me? <laughs> and who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! Uh-oh. Oh, damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is Angel Rock! Milton, uh, not Milton, uh, Ross. Let's keep moving! Put a 
Wait for me, John. Arthur, you go on first. So is Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. We're not out of the woods yet. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Lightning. No. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a sec. Come on. Push, Arthur. Thank you. Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I wanna help John. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Shit. Let's just get up this cliff. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing! They're climbing! Watch yourself! I gotta move! Arthur. No. <coughs> no. 
I think I've pushed all I can. Come on, you go. We ain't got time for this, not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. still around the nice one can't you see that one you're pathetic Traitor, Micah. Micah. You're the rat. gonna reach that gun yeah I will you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost despite my best efforts to the country 
It turns out I won. <laughs> It is over. Now. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's <coughs> talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Hmm. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Tragic. Some years later. The wheel. Whoa, I just see a deer glitching out in the water. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta... Live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? 
I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself oh. good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. Which books? Which books was that? You know that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king? What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. <laughs> you like them, okay. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Mm-hmm. Been a long time indeed. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help wanted. Apply within. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah. My wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Okay. Go to the doctor's office to meet Abigail. All right. Put a run over there. So that's what I like to do. I'm gonna run, run, run. Hey, don't touch me. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> I won't. All right. Let's go deliver some goods then.
All the goods will be just fine. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Owen Gila. I can't so much it. of a delivery boy. North. Now we go north. This must be it. I missed the turn. <laughs> My bad. Here we go. You Mr. Gettys? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Uh -oh. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. My wagon. Come back here. <laughs> Finally. It was just a bump. Uh, that was embarrassing. Made me look like a fool. I definitely got bronze on that one. No doubt about that. Uh. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a 
A little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Okay. Part one, Pronghorn Ranch, the log. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay. Well, I think this is going to be a good stopping point for us. So I all hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. If you want to be part of the Screaming Eagles and more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jet Eagle One Hundred One. Have a good one.